building. This day is pretty easy though, I have to say, because all we're gonna do today is paint some rails to go with our awesome horse jump that's sitting over there. It's super easy, and I'm gonna show that to you in just one minute. Hi again, it's me, Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, welcome back to my garage. <laughs> So as you can see, laying in front of me, I have some rails that are freshly painted and waiting to go on the jump that we've been building. They're still a little bit tacky. This is the first coat that I put on them, but I wanted to show you guys how I go about making rails for horse jumps. Unless you live in an area of the country or the world where you have access to horse jump rails, it can be really challenging to find rails to go with your awesome horse jump that you built. You can buy them online, you can buy them sometimes from a mill. If you can find the rails in a mill, usually you can find them pretty reasonably. If you purchase them online, they're really expensive. Probably about $35 a rail or more, depending on where you find it from. And then that doesn't include the shipping. So then you have to budget in the money that it's going to cost to have the rail shipped to you. Or you can do what I do and go for a cheaper alternative and these rails have been made out of using landscaping timbers. So these rails that I have laying before me right now are cherry tone landscaping timbers. And if you've watched any of my videos in the past, I'm sure you've seen me using the landscaping timbers for building my jumps as well as using them for raised rails. I mean, everything I can think of, I use cherry tone landscaping timbers. The reason I use them is they are incredibly affordable. Each of these rails is about $4 and you can find the cherry tone timbers at Home Depot. The only downside that I've found to using these timbers are they are only eight foot long. Now, if you have a small riding area like I do, eight feet wide jumps are fine. And if your horse gets used to jumping eight foot long jumps or eight foot wide, when you go to a horse show and the jumps are 10 or 12 foot wide, you're gonna be an advantage because your horse is used to seeing the jumps set up smaller. And then if you go to a place where they have bigger jumps, you're gonna do good. You'll probably do really good in the class too. So that's why I prefer to use the eight foot landscaping timbers. Number one, because of the cost. And number two, because of the added training benefit that it gives to my horses. Like I said, these were $4 a piece. I think they're like $3.50. So let's just round it up to $4. So I have four rails here. Four times four equals $16. So I have four rails for my jump, 16 bucks. That's not too bad in my opinion. And once you get your landscaping timbers home, then you're gonna have to paint them. So what I do first when I get my timbers home is of course I remove any of the little staples and stuff that's on them. And then I sand the wood. And once I have the wood all sanded, I will use acrylic latex caulk. And this caulk is awesome. It costs about $16 for a case of 12 of them. And what I do is I use this to fill in any of the gaps or cracks that are in these timbers. Because sometimes the landscaping timbers will have a lot of gaps in them and a lot of cracks, and I want it to look seamless. I want it to look like a rail. So I just fill the gaps and the cracks with the latex caulking. It works really, really well, and it's very affordable. And you can use it outside. Very, very good point. And then after the rails are all sanded and caulked, then it's time to prime them. And this is my most favorite primer paint in the entire world. This is Kills 2 Primer. It is a latex primer, so that means you can clean up your brushes with soap and water, which is really nice. And it's really affordable too. This is a two gallon bucket of the Kills 2 Primer. I got it at Home Depot and it was $27. Sometimes you can find it on sale, like $25, $24, but even $27 for two gallons, that's good, and that will last me a long time. And then once I have my cherry tone timbers primed, I allow them to dry, and then it's time for the really fun part, which is on here right now, and that is the finished paint job. I like to use Rust-Oleum paint. This is an oil-based paint. It is safe to use outside, and it has a high gloss finish. 
And the reason that I just love the Rust-Oleum paint, number one, it's affordable. A gallon of Rust-Oleum paint will run about $25 at Home Depot. And it's durability. The oil-based paints are going to be much more durable than, say, the latex brand of paint. Latex paint is cool, and you can usually find the Oops paint at, your, at Home Depot, Lowe's, places like that. And sometimes you can find them for $5 a gallon. And that's awesome. But the paint will not last. It, the paint will get faded, it'll get chipped, it easily gets dinged even just by moving the jumps and the rails around. Uh, if, if you use the latex paint, it's not going to last as long and you'll probably end up painting or repainting your jumps every year or so at least. With the Rust-Oleum paint, it's very durable. It doesn't crack that I've found. It, it's very hard to get dinged up or marred. You might get some paint transfers, like if red, if you have red paint, it might like mark up the white rails. But I haven't really had too many issues with the Rust-Oleum paint. And like I said, it does last a long time. I can leave my jumps outside all summer long, and they're not really faded. They seem to hold up to the elements much better, and it's just great so that's why I really really use and recommend Rust-Oleum oil-based paint or any oil-based paint would probably work really well I just really like the Rust-Oleum because it is affordable and you can find it pretty much everywhere so the rails that I made today these are for our hunter jump that we're making and actually only two of these rails are going to be used in that jump but I had some rails that were already primered and I figured for the next jump that I'm going to be building, I'm going to use two rails again. So I thought that'd be cool. I'll just go ahead and do it and get it done now. So four rails, $16. I can make two fancy jumps with these. Or I can use them for schooling. I can use them for ground poles. So many uses for these cherry tone timbers. They're very lightweight. They're very affordable. And they're just awesome. If you're looking for an affordable alternative to buying ready-made jump rails or jump poles, whatever you want to call them, I would really recommend you consider the eight foot long cherry tone timbers. They are awesome. And if you're just getting into jumping, this would be an affordable way to do it. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. Just click on my picture, my picture. At the end of this video, you can subscribe to my channel and watch the jump building process as we go forward. Again, thanks so much for watching and until next time, stay passionate and enjoy your ride.